everyone this is tim from your shake studios today in this video i'm going to go and show you how to easily record the home screen on your playstation 5 so you can make videos or anything else so let's go ahead and jump the video right now so you may have noticed when you're playing on your playstation 5 you cannot record the home screen but i'm going to go and show you how to do this without buying an expensive capture card and if you have a phone or a computer, you can do it easily right now. So if you go on over to your phone or computer, go to google.com and type this in PlayStation Remote Play just on the top like this and click this link that says PS Remote Play PlayStation. And this will be the direct link right here, the URL. And then scroll down under this web page until you get to get on Google Play or get on Apple Store. And then there will be a link down here for Windows PC and Mac as well. So let's go to Windows PC and Mac. Then scroll on down under here until you get to right here where it says control your PS5. Control your PS5 console with a Windows PC. Then go on down to install the app, read the instructions, and then go to agree and go to download. And this will download in the bottom left right here. You can go to open when done or show in folders etc and i already have it on my computer so i'm going to go ahead and just open this up right here and select this application and this is ps remote play now go on over to settings right here and sign in with your playstation account with your email address and password then you can go through the different settings now you'll need to connect your ps5 controller to the pc in order for this to work otherwise if you have a second account you can log in with your second account and then control your playstation 5 from the playstation now make sure your playstation is in rest mode or connected to the same internet and turned on then you can go to ps5 or other connections and choose your ps4 or ps5 and then it's going to search for the playstation on the network and if it cannot detect it on the network you can type in a code manually. So when you're presented with two accounts, if you do not have the ability to connect it to your computer or phone, make sure your controller is connected to a second account like I have it right now. So I'm on a second account and I'm able to stream my first account to my PC and then play on the second account and I can see the home screen here. So this will allow me to use my controller connected to my PS5 and I don't have to connect it to my PC or phone. Now, another thing is you want to go up to settings and then go on down to system right here. Then go down to remote play and make sure this is checkmarked before you go ahead and do this. Checkmark remote play at the top. So you can go ahead and remotely connect to your PlayStation. Then you'll be able to see the entire home screen on your PlayStation 5 and you can record this at your will. And this will be pretty much the same on your phone. But you do have a little microphone down here at the bottom you can use to talk to your PlayStation friends. You have the PlayStation button. You can press this from the computer and it should work and open up the quick menu. Then you have the options button right here. And then you have the share button right here, which you can go ahead and take a screenshot, etc. Then you can expand the entire screen so it fills up your entire screen. So you can very easily record your home screen just using this method. Now to exit. All you have to do is go up to the X here, select this, and you can put your console into rest mode from there on out. So hopefully this quick little tutorial video did indeed help you out. If it did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.